Eurogroup president Jeroen Dijsselbloem faced a grilling in the European Parliament on Tuesday over the recent Cyprus bailout deal. Addressing MEPs, Dijsselbloem refused to give away details of the discussions that led Eurozone ministers to include a tax on all bank depositors in Cyprus. The original proposal sparked widespread anger and was later rejected by the parliament in Nicosia. What I simply can't, cannot do uh, is go into questions what different ministers in the Eurogroup uh, said or have done, uh, whether they were for or against uh, any proposals, etc. Um, I'm very sorry that you find that unacceptable, but I simply can't go into to that. I'm, I'm no king, you know, we've, we've just installed a new king in the Netherlands and that's <laughs> one Dutch king is, is plenty. But MEP said that the European Parliament is entitled to know more about the negotiations. Moi, je m'interroge sur la question de savoir si vous avez pris conscience, vous et vos collègues, du fiasco, du fiasco qui a été la façon dont a été traité ce problème. We, as a Parliament, have the right to know more from you how it came to this wrong decision, and we ask this in writing. And I would like to know whether you will respond in writing precisely why this process didn't deliver. And we have the right to know, the citizens have the right to know, and it's too cheap simply to say, I will not answer, and I am the king of the Eurogroup, and, if, uh, and I take all the responsibility. Dijsselbloem defended the current bailout deal as the best possible solution for Cyprus and a good deal for the EU. Under the new terms, only deposits over 100,000 euros will be taxed to fund the 10 billion euro bailout. The macroeconomic adjustment program provides Cyprus with an opportunity to get its economy back on track, which is not going to be easy. I fully realize that. But I also believe strongly that the momentum should not be loosed, should not be lost in improving our oversight and resolution mechanisms to effectively and efficiently nip potential systemic threats. The hearing will continue on Wednesday when the ECB, the IMF and the European Commission will be questioned.